What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Token. This is Token Moto 191. And if you were here yesterday and you saw the video, you know that we started a brand new Apollo pit bike build. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to turn that into a Motard, into like a trails enduro bike, or maybe just another race bike as a backup when I'm out at the track. And if you've been here before, you know that I have Apollo V2, which minus the two because we didn't get to finish the full transition to phase two of that race bike. And uh, we built it for Pit Bike Nationals Mini X, which was canceled out because of the weather. And now everything is going on in the world with coronavirus. I don't know when the season will even start. So I got plenty of time to build another bike and that's what we're doing. So if you were here yesterday, you saw that we started on the new Apollo RFZ frame, which is an RFZ DC2, which translates into the X5, X6. It's not the full cradle frame like the X18s, X19s. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the progress on that. We got it painted up, we got some of the parts cleaned up, and I'm gonna show you what I'm adding to it. And then today, we're gonna get into working on building a race motor for that bike. Now, I've never done this before. I've always just added goodies to it, as in, so it's such as carburetors, CDIs, big bore exhaust. But today, we're going to be taking apart a 110 motor, and then we're putting on a T-Bolt Big Bore 160 kit. That is right, I am turning a 110 into a 160. So, before we do that though, let me show you the progress on the bike, and then we'll jump right into this motor. Alright, so here's the progress that we were able to make on the bike from yesterday. I went ahead and cleaned it up, got it painted, I mounted my oil cooler in place because this bracket right here was tweaked, so I mounted that and bent it back straight. Um, didn't even pay attention to this for the gas tank that is bent, but that shouldn't be hard to bend back over. Maybe heat treat it and bend it. We got the subframe painted in a nice gloss black. I have a bunch of shocks and stuff laying around, and I went ahead and decided that this one right here will complement the build. It's got a reservoir and stuff like that. It's adjustable underneath. So that's where we stand right now with the frame and the base of this build for the bike. She's looking pretty good as compared to yesterday. If you saw the video, she was like rusted and she was like... Uh, the paint was fading. It wasn't too bad, but if we're going to do a build, we're going to do a build right and we're going to go all out. So there it is right there. On another note, let's take this time to just appreciate Apollo V2 minus the 2. She's over there sitting pretty. She runs real good. The only thing I have left to actually do to that bike is to find a chain guide that fits on that Apollo swing arm. It takes a different kind of chain guide. And then also I need to put my front brake on. I do have it. I just never use my brakes because I've been doing a lot of urban moto lately. And, uh, yeah, that's where she sits. She's looking pretty, though, over there. I would go ride her today. It is a rainy day here in Texas. It actually kind of just stopped raining, so who knows? We might go do some Urban Moto later. Um, might take you guys along with me if we do that. But I just wanted to give a shout-out to Apollo V2 minus the 2. So as I was saying, we are going to be turning this 110 motor right here into a 160. We have the T-Bolt 160 big bore kit with the high compression piston. Also going to be throwing an inner rotor kit on there, which took me forever to get off of the motor that I had to break all this stuff off of yesterday because we had a motor that was complete with this kit on it already. It just was missing the right side of the case. So I went ahead and broke that motor down, took the parts off of this. This is the brand new motor that I had in Apollo V2 before I got that other motor put in. It's brand new. It only has one track ride on it. Um, we're going to take this one apart and we're going to throw this big board kit on there. Now let me tell you, I've never done this before in my life other than on two strokes. I haven't really built a four stroke motor as in the phase of actually building it. So bear with me guys, this is going to be a learning experience for me and um, I can't wait to get this on here. This should be pretty good. We got the head already set up to go. We have the cylinder, we have the high compression piston, we have the inner rotor kit. I got some racing CDIs over there. I also have another 160 head over here. So if this head right here doesn't work out, we're going to go ahead and throw that head on right there. But since this was already on the motor and this was already bolted to it, I have no problem that this is going to run. So that's what we're going to get into today. I'm going to start cracking this motor down and then we're going to get this stuff put on and hopefully everything goes right.
so we got all the plates and most of the essentials off of the engine. Now what we got to do is we got to loosen this bolt right here, and then we, it's going to take us down to here. But first we're going to start by taking the head off. We're going to loosen this bolt. We're going to take the cam gear off of the cam. That way when this is all said and done, I can hit this with a mallet and wiggle this head on off of this motor. Check this out guys, here's the piston that we just took out of it. Let's see if I can get some better lighting. But yeah, there's the piston that we just took out of it. It's brand new, uh, not too much detonation on it. All right, and then here is the piston that we're about to put in it. This is the 60 millimeter, the 160. Now let's do a size comparison. Look at the two. This sucker, oh yeah, baby's about to have some power for sure, if I can get this figured out. After almost an hour of fighting with this motor, I do have the cylinder on, we have the piston inside there, we have the head on. The only issue we're running into is the head studs are too short. I can put the cover on, but then the bolts, well, if I can actually get the cover on. I can put the cover on, but as you can see, the bolts are too short. So luckily I did keep the other motor because I can take the head studs out of that and then put them in here. Um, it's going to be a pain in the butt, but we do have the jug on, we have the, the head on. Next up is to get the flywheel off and the stator off and get the inner rotor kit in place. But this was a pain in the butt. Um, you guys will see as in the process, I had to cut and keep going and keep going. I almost gave up, but we do have the head on the motor. That is all that matters. But like I said, we're going to have to take the head studs out. Which that way, the longer head studs, I'm not sure if I'm going to need a longer timing chain. I haven't pulled it all the way through and put the cam gear and stuff back on. But I'm going to leave this right here. We will continue in part two of the race motor build for this bike. I'm going to work on some other stuff for the day. But this, like I said, was a pain in the butt. But we do have our T-Bolt 160 kit on the motor. Um, I'm going to work on getting the head studs out of the old motor. And... Looking it up to see if anybody else has done this conversion. 
and yeah, like I said, guys, that is my first time actually breaking apart one of these motors and trying to do the build that way. Um, if you guys can give me a big thumbs up on this video, like I said, it's not a how to because I don't know what the heck I'm doing other than sliding the piston inside the cylinder, putting the head on, and then hopefully getting the timing marks right to get the motor timed. Um, inner rotor wiring, all the other stuff, I will tackle in the next video, and I know what I'm doing there, so that helps out a lot. I will be able to explain it to you guys, but give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.